think it's pronounced Betty. The Betty smartphone alarm clock. Okay. Um, so unlike any of the other smartphone alarm clocks or, or tablet alarm clocks that you may have um, that have some kind of port on them that you have to use a very specific either iPhone or you have to use an Android device that has its connector at the bottom in the center, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this allows you to use um, it, it. It's not necessarily a dock per se. It does have it has a 2.1 amp and a one amp port on the USB ports on the back. So you can kind of prop your phone up in a, in a little tray um, and plug your device in. Where I thought this was really cool is there's a there's a supplemental um, app that works with the dock. Um, the dock is Bluetooth enabled. And part of what the app does is not only is it an alarm, there's three buttons on the device that then allow you to program what those buttons do. Um, you can have those buttons do things like call an Uber taxi, play a specific Spotify list, control the temperature on your nest, um, or, or use like a uh, Philips Hue light. So say you want to kick on the lights in the room and maybe down into the kitchen because you're going you're gonna to get up and go down and get a cup of coffee every day. Um, what, what I think that that's the really cool part is you can kind of reach up, hit a button, and it completes a complete task, hmm. um, unlike uh, some of the other other devices. Um, it, not bad for a hundred dollar dock, um, and it is on Kickstarter, um, so you can grab it right now for seventy five dollars. Or actually, if you hit the hundred and fifteen mark, you can actually get two. Um, it is not expected until June of next year. Um, but I liked it because it not only had the one device, it not only had a USB port for one device, but two. And I find myself putting either a watch in the phone next to the bed or an iPad in the phone next to the bed. Or maybe you have his and her, now you have his and her ports to charge your both phones at night. Um, I, I don't know. I just think it's a, it's a really cool idea. That's, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm the one that threw my phone on the floor this morning. <laughs> uh, so, so maybe this is something that, that needs to happen, uh, on my end and really kind of plays a little bit, uh, to, to what I want to be talking about. So, so what do you mean that it, 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 it does a task? So are you, you're, you're setting up stuff via the device via an app? How's that go? It's via their app. Okay. So I'm guessing they're going to get more and more integration and I'm guessing they're going to integrate with what you're going to talk about. Uh, that'd be nice. That would be really cool because think about it. Then you could string together tons of tasks. But but like I said, th to me this is the first one that really is using outside capabilities. I haven't seen many manufacturers whether like iHome. You can do a bunch of stuff with other iHome products. You can you can their app lets you do a bunch of different things. To me, this gives you three different things that you could potentially do, um, and potentially more. Awesome. Awesome. Go check it out. They say they're on Kickstarter and uh, you just look for uh, Betty, B-E-D-D-I, Intelligent Alarm Clock. And uh, it definitely has 43 days days ago and it's way above its $25,000 goal. So that's happening if it's actually going to happen, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. So 